what is going on everyone hope everyone out there is having an awesome day Dayton here with Optic LED checking back in with the uh, slim 650s we are gonna do a little review of this light because I just finished up my first run uh, around the end of summer and uh, it was my first full run with this light and I'll let you guys know how I feel about it so we got the slim 650s here 650 watts of pure power and I really love how powerful this light is uh, we got the dimmers up here, can control exactly the amount of power you want. And if you have a power meter, you can easily tell exactly how much power you're getting and uh, set it at exactly the right setting, which I absolutely love. So the white LEDs are getting 500 watts. The red LEDs with the UV and IR are running at 100 watts and the blue LEDs are running at uh, 50 watts. This is a very efficient light if you're like me running in a 4x4 uh, You can actually extend its life. It's a very powerful light at uh, 650 watts, so definitely is really good for a 5x5 grow area. I'm running in a 4x4 area Which is the smallest you would run it in uh, And if you are running in an area like this, you don't have to run it at full power I'm getting perfect par at like 65% uh, whites and like uh, if I wanted to go 100% reds or blues or whatever like that I'm getting pretty much perfect par depending on how far it is from the canopy uh, I don't really need to go higher than that uh, and the nice thing about that is you're making your LEDs last longer you're not running them at full power which gives them a longer lifespan because you're pretty much taking it easy on the LEDs so that's the nice thing about having a powerful light like this. I really love growing with this light. Had some amazing veg growth. For veg growth, I actually started my plants with this light and I had some really good results with it. They took off and were super healthy. And in the budding stage, my plants filled up very nicely, got super plump. The buds got super chunky. And in the end, came out with some very nice quality on my buds. Very happy with it, very impressed. I really love my 600H uh, Gen 2, but I love this light a little bit more just for the reasons that you can have such uh, perfect optimization with these uh, dimmers. It just puts it in its own class, kinda. If you're really into giving custom uh, spectrum settings for your, your plants, then definitely this is the light to go with. And again, it's a very efficient light too. It doesn't put off much heat. Probably one of the coolest running lights I've seen at 650 watts uh, in my life. Especially if you compare it to like HPS. I have run 600 watt HPS before and they got pretty damn hot. And of course it's running the top of the line LM301H Samsung diodes clear whites and the LH351Hs which is the version 2 bloom enhancers super efficient bloom enhancers coming out of Samsung gotta love the technology that's been coming out lately Samsung's really been pushing the LED technology and I've noticed the driver box stays pretty cool up here too heat is definitely dispersed nicely through this whole box this light in a 4x4 tent this light takes up pretty much uh, the entire tent there's probably about like two and a half inches or so on each side of the tent to give it some space to wiggle around. But that's really nice because it gives it a super nice par spread here. And overall, it's just a badass, powerful light. And uh, right now, definitely my favorite bar style light. Love the results I got from it. And I would definitely highly recommend if you're using a five by five grow tent, then this would be the one to go with. Or if you're a person who wants complete customization of your light spectrum, and definitely this is the light to go with as well. That's it for this review, guys. Hope your gardens are doing awesome, guys. That's it for this review, so peace out. Catch you guys later.